Yeah, we opened up our first restaurant uh, August 17, 2012. Uh, prior to that, we had been bottling and selling salsa for quite a long time. Uh, got our way into about 24 grocery stores. The overall goal was open up a quick service restaurant and delivery, and the catering. Um, that's where we kind of took off and got too busy to hold on to the salsa accounts. So one day we'd like to go back to those, but for now, we're Starting, basically doing everything ourselves and not looking for investors to start off and kind of, you know, building it and saving and growing on our own instead yeah. of, you know, going to the bank or going to outside potential investors. Um, bringing a couple of recent college graduation or college graduates into the business and then growing them into ownership of a restaurant after, you know, a couple of years. Um, it was difficult. Throughout uh, college, to gain my ownership, I had worked for free and bartending. So my focus wasn't always fully on the restaurant until the time was right that I could pay myself enough from the restaurant. So it was kind of hard to grow the business and focus on what needed to be done at the same time as make money and to survive and get my school done so I could graduate on, on time. So a lot of the issue was focus. Financial, but that was kind of about our own choices. We wanted to build it that way. Um, I think a lot of the struggles made us stronger, made us learn better ways to do things, so that in the future, when I was sitting there blowing money on unnecessary needs, uh, we know the cost-effective way to do a lot of things because we were forced to figure out those ways instead of just you know starting off with a big loan and taking the easy route and figuring out you know pay off the head. You know. I do. Um, there's a lot of numbers and percentages as far as restaurants go. Um, you know, they say some certain percent fail within the first three to five years and all this stuff. Um, a good way to judge a restaurant is percentages. Um, you know, a good re a restaurant runs about 30% profit, you know, 30 labor, 30 food, 10 fixed. Yeah. Um, we keep right in those numbers with both restaurants. Opening up is always slow, we understand that. Um, we back ourselves with a lot of caterings. We do about 20 a week from the Iowa City store alone. Um, and then, you know, hitting the college towns, doing the deliveries, and the late, being open late night, it usually really helps. Um, being owner operated helps. Yeah, as an owner, you got to pay yourself regardless. Um, but to factor yourself into that labor without just the owner's bonus, it really helps us get on our feet to get to the level we need to get to pay ourselves. You know, we're not just taking unnecessary money in the beginning. Um, yeah. To open up and within a year and a half have another store running and be profitable, I count that as successful. Yeah. Do your research. Have some experience. Have some history in it. I mean, like I said, I bartended through college, so I had my I, six and a half years. I was doing that. I I knew my way around a lot of different restaurants and everything else. I managed different locations. It still didn't prepare me enough to do what I was doing. I didn't have the dedication, I have the mindset for quite a while. It took me at least a year to really take a hold and take charge of what I needed to be doing. I kind of was letting the duties fall on other people's shoulders. Um, it's tough, it's fun, it's rewarding, very much so once you start getting off the ground, but it's very stressful, it's very time consuming. Expect to work 78 hours a week and uh, don't complain about it. You know, enjoy your time off, but. It's fun. It's definitely worth it. And working for yourself is one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. Uh, one of the biggest takeaways I got from uh, talking with Tyler uh, about his restaurant business was that you can never do too much research. Uh, there's always something that you can be doing more efficiently to uh, keep your costs down or uh, something just out there that you could do better to benefit your business. Another uh, interesting thing that I got from the interview with Tyler was that uh, how uh, motive or uh, how accomplished she felt after when he finally was able to pay himself uh, off the work that he had done uh, in starting Mommy's. Uh, he was he just said that was the best feeling ever in the world where he feel like he actually made it uh, when he can finally pay himself off of his uh, starting of his own company.